on how much of trauma that we faced in childhood actually builds up and is reflected in the adults we become? Great question. I think we carry childhood trauma in some subtle ways all our lives. What does childhood trauma do to the adult that we become? I think childhood trauma has potential to have a huge impact and very lasting impact. Uh, there are two uh, broadly ways in which it reveals itself. One of course is obvious where I myself make the conscious connect between what I went through in childhood and what I am finding difficult now. And we do see clients who are able to make that connection. They talk about their traumatic childhood, they talk about traumatic childhood experiences, they talk about how that's impacting on them today. Right? And a classic example would be, uh, say, an authority figure that you had to deal with in childhood constantly and wasn't very pleasant to you at all and how you find authority figures difficult even today as a working professional or as, a, as, as an adult who is having to function. The other type is a, a lot more unconscious in a sense you don't really remember the trauma in detail in the, in the way that it was vested upon you or what you experienced. You may remember parts of it, but you don't remember the extent of it or the depth of it uh, in, in your conscious mind. And yet it's had huge impact, so much so that when you get into situations which are in some way akin to those traumatic situations, either the people or the dynamics or the environment reminds you in a very latent way, subliminal way, about that traumatic situation, you then tend to react in, uh, in ways that may not be entirely understandable or appropriate. Um, and one of those examples is, of course, childhood abuse, um, where people carry this within them for a long time and it has a role to play in many things in their life without them realizing it, both in, both in, in errors of judgment and in terms of avoiding things that they really should be engaging in, both. How do you even tell somebody that they have had childhood trauma? Because often you'll find adults saying, yeah, you know, my parents used to beat me quite regularly, but in those days that was the way of disciplining. So, in a sense, what's, you know, uh, I mean the goose and gander uh, difference. In a sense, if I have internalized it that way and I appear to be comfortable with it. That, that was a, 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 you know, it was a representation of the time that I grew up in and, you know, everyone did it. I'm not perhaps particularly traumatized. I found an explanation. I found a way of dealing with it or coping with it. So much so that I'm not blaming my parents or I'm not feeling bad myself and so on. So that's entirely possible that people go through what today would be considered traumatic experiences, but in, in some contextual way were okay in the time that they grew up and they've internalized it that way. On the other hand, if it so happens that you continue to feel bad about it or if it so happens that you continue to have unexplained psychological feelings of uh, unhappiness or distress when you either come into like-to-like -like situations or... I mean, I'll give you a very good example. I had a child today who is clearly a very smart kid, slightly hyperactive, and the father who clearly also shares some of those traits uh, was very, very keen to make his point that it's okay to be like this and we don't have to fix it. Uh, so in a sense, he obviously has struggled with it as a child uh, and the way he was dealt with by other people. And he's now, it's leading to him in a very latent way being protective about his own child. So I think when you ask about how our childhood influences shape us, traumatic or not, I think they do. Uh, in a very significant way, they can actually shape us. All right.